Okay, okay. So with the introduction, um, I am a Ghanaian, um, but I'm currently in my final year of my PhD. Um, so I'm doing PhD in mathematics, and I'm also a vice chancellor scholar of Cardiff University. So basically, that's a, a summary about myself. Um, regarding my research, maybe I'd like to give a little bit background and then give a little detail in terms of the mathematics. So um, there has been an emerging and re-emerging infectious disease among fish farms due to a particular parasite called Gadactylis, which affected several parts of Europe, such that some trout fisheries or fish farms in South Wales and Southwest England even had to close down due to this infection. Now, apart from its mode of feeding, that is the parasite's mode of feeding, um, there's this interesting pattern. As, I mean, the mode of feeding can effectively cause fish mortality anyway. But apart from its mode of feeding, that can effectively cause fish mortality. There's this interesting pattern associated with the reproductive cycle of the parasite, such that once the mother is pregnant, the fetus within the mother is also pregnant, and the mother gives birth to its first daughter, which is already pregnant and matured. What does this tell us? This tells us that a single gadatly parasite on the body of a fish can cause a whole population explosion. Um, now, fish too is a major source of protein and as well as contribute to almost one, one third of UK's economy. So what does it tell us? This tells us that if there's this pandemic or any form of epidemic of this particular infection, it can tremendously cause um, economic burden to most of these infected countries. Now, biologists have tried to understand these dynamics using experimentation, but experimental approach is not always sufficient to help uncover in-depth dynamics about the infection. So the overall aim of my PhD is to um, basically help us to better understand the gadactylate fish system by developing novel but complex mathematical and stochastic simulation models um, across um, three different strains of the parasite over three different fish population. So for this particular phase of my PhD, we have basically developed um, a, a, a simulation model that is realistic enough to simulate the spread of the three different parasite strains over the external surfaces of the three different fish populations um, um, and over 70 day infection period. And then um, with that, there are some specific biological questions we aim to answer. Even though this is like a bigger project, but I'll just condense it a little bit to uh, for the sake of this presentation. So we just wanted to know whether the bear fruit, bear fruit uh, movement rate of these parasite strains differ significantly across the three strains of the parasite and also across the uh, and three fish population. And we also wanted to know whether there's any significant difference um, in terms of um, 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 immune response or rate of immune response and also fish mortality. By so doing, um, after fitting the model, there's always something we do by trying to estimate the, the parameters of the model. The, the, the parameters should be informed by the data, the observed data that can help us to realistically get simulation results that is almost mimicking or matching or very close to the actual empirical data. So we, 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 we actually designed or developed a novel parameter estimation technique, one called weighted iterative ABC. ABC is just um, approximate based on computation. So it's just a technique that helps us to draw evidence from the data and helps to actually estimate parameters that to be able to be very close to the actual observed data. So the essence is, first of all, to help to contribute tremendously to the scientific community by developing these novel models, as well as parameter estimation techniques, which can also contribute tremendously to the scientific community, and as well as help the biologists to better understand the system and also help make informed decisions about the control of the gadatlyph system. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's just a summary of my research. Great, and that's fascinating. How did you get into that? What made you go into that area and investigate that question about fish? Okay, so basically, it's it's initially started with my MPhil. Um, I decided I, I was a statistician, um, and I but I have background in both statistics and mathematics. And I, I just wanted to see what can I do different because I looked at other colleagues of mine or I looked at most um, statisticians and mathematicians and I realized that the theoretical field was not really opening much of doors. So what I decided to do was to see how best I could integrate my knowledge with other fields. So what I did was I, I did a research um, and fortunately for me, it won the best research in Ghana. Um, so that, that it was modeling um, um, HIV tuberculosis and hepatitis B transmission in Ghana. So when I did that research, um, basically that's what I wanted to feather. So I had two vice chancellor scholarship, one in Leeds University and also Cardiff. But the Leeds was just extending that research. But for the Cardiff research, I have I had no idea. So basically what I'm doing is an interdisciplinary research, which I had no background, no idea about. Um, but uh, my supervisor felt um, 
um, I have that um, required background that I could still survive. And because I had that ability to um, um, do such interdisciplinary research, he felt um, I could be um, I could be the guy for the for the job. So um, I think it was just by luck, and then and and it was it wasn't um, very easy and um, um, easy at the initial stages because. I have to understand the biology before you can model it and all sort of things. Yeah. So for the interest is something that I wasn't expecting, but it was given to me as part of the vice chancellor scholarship. Do you feel differently about fish now? Uh, yeah, <laughs> because seriously, um, um, fish is real. As I said, it's contributing to almost one 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 third of UK's economy. So um, if we have such infection that can tremendously cause global economic burden then definitely um, it's something that needs to be investigated. And now when I'm eating fish, I ask myself, could they be infected? So it is even preventing me from eating fish to my satisfaction, but um, yeah, it's an interesting um, study. And does, has this experience and this, um, this experience in modeling this parasite, does it give you more insight or a different view about the coronavirus pandemic? Oh, certainly, certainly. Um, because I have a little bit background with um, with disease modeling um, within a human population. I actually had um, a, a, a training in Cambridge, um, and Wellcome um, Trust. Yeah, so um, I mean, it's, 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 it's so it, um, there was this disease modeling training that I had. And then um, I wanted to do something about the coronavirus, but my PhD is not permitting me. Um, the reason is because um, of time and then the fact that I'm in my final year. So, but it's a disease that was changing. So I realized that even modeling such a system or such a disease will be a little bit difficult because the resource keeps changing. It's not like something that is static. It's very stochastic. And then, um, so yeah, but I'm, in, some future, in, some, in some future time, I'm, I'm planning on doing something about it as well. Okay. Um, and finally, is there a favorite moment or experience that you've had during your research that you'll always remember? Yeah, the favorite moment is um, as part of our PhD, we usually do um, some courseworks but the course where you have to travel to a different university. So like one encounter that I said I had in Cambridge, and then I had to travel to other universities to meet new colleagues and other um, um, international students. So those were the very interesting moments, especially getting to present your work before like a um, group of experts and then getting feedbacks. Like it was an interesting um, 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 moment. And yeah, so I'll say through the courseworks and then getting to go to other universities to interact with other and colleagues, yeah, that made that was very interesting. Okay, well, thank you very much.